Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So it's time for some plug and play action with this 59 games in one. What are we going to get? Are they all like official games and are they naughty? Or are we going to get a lot of crappy horrible homebrew games? Yeah, it's going to be old school. Like there is no HDMI connection. Yeah, I'm not. I must say like I'm not used to the HDMI connection simply because with the Chinese versions, we're not going to get it often. Okay, so we're going to get the D-pad over here. Then we're going to like select and start A, B, X, Y and reset. And it seems to be like a very weird sturdy analog stick. At the bottom we can find the on and off switch. And over here we can find the battery compartment. Let's see if I can get myself the right screwdriver. And let's open it up. Maybe I can do a tear down with this one. Oh boy, I was recording some videos today and realizing I cannot tear down everything because some of these things are like screwed together or they are using stickers to put part of it together and I don't want to destroy devices to make and tear down okay there's going to be like four freaking batteries in this bloody thing and there is no way of adding an external power supply so this is going to be old school fun or old school not nightmare depends of course what kind of games let's close it up I didn't check it before making this video. I'm just going to do it together with you guys. Oh, there it is. Okay, on and off. Ah, there it goes. All right, let's plug it in and let's get some action. All right, so one for the video and one from the audio. Plug and play and let's it go. All right, so let's turn it on. Oh, that music. Oh, 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 what is happening? Ah, <laughs> oh, crap, what is going on? Keep walking. Sudoku, Firebase, oh, oh, Firebase, Racing Fighter, Sea Maid. Wow, this D pad is freaking annoying, responsive. Starfighter, Sudden Strike. Oh boy, there are a lot of crappy games in this. Oh man, and there are no lines in games. I call this game Dinosaur. Yeah, this thing is a freaking dinosaur. Oh boy. Alright, let's do a kick boot. What the hell? So, I'm guessing you need to catch the hearts. And the diamonds. That's it. Just grab everything you can. Yep, and get a high score. All right. Okay, Racing Fighter. So it seems to be that they are using these weird games for a very long time now. Wow. Okay. I'm guessing that's the only thing I need to do. I want to have unlimited bullets, but no. Crap. So this thing is filled with weird 8-bit games. Oh, by the way, so the X and Y buttons are basically like turbo buttons. We have seen before with the Chinese knockoff systems. That's great. So I'm losing fuel as I'm st staying still. That makes no sense at all. I have a leaking gas tank or something like that. Okay, I found this game called Tip Mode or something like that. But it's just Excite Bike. Yup, they are naughty. Let's see, it's have the same sound effects. Yep, it has. I'm not playing with the freaking analog stick because the D pad is so awful. Yep, I have all the sound effects of the original game. The only thing is, like, he's driving some futuristic motorcycle. So let's do a quick scroll through some games because I'm curious if we can find some more ripoffs. Overheating! Overheating! Yes, me too! First defender. Ah, <laughs> oh man. This is a really bad space invader game. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is really bad. There's no background music whatsoever. Yeah, the zooming sound of the bad audio signal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can we? Get the info, get the info, get the info. Nope. Moto Rally Racing. Okay. Looks interesting. <laughs> Look at the signal. It's like going crazy. 
Oh, at the back we can see like the track that we need to raise. Okay. But you can see like this product has been filled up with these homebrew 8-bit games. That's it. That's the only freaking thing we're doing. Like, it seems to be working properly. Sometimes I'll be having the homebrew games. What the hell just happened? Whoa! I'm like a freaking pinball machine. <laughs> all right, so let's do a rip, a rip and tear. First of all, let's remove the batteries of this bloody thing. Power, power it off. So the audio signal of this thing is really bad, and I have seen my share of shitty plug and play devices. But this thing, hey, what the? I should keep my battery back. You freaking thing. But also, it is very lightweighted. It feels very flimsy and cheap. So let's do a quick in peek in the inside. How did they make it? And the only thing is, like we're seeing these damages from. In the plastic itself. I did see this before with cheap other devices. But I understand that like when the chemicals resolve in the plastic and the cables lay against the casing, this is what happens. Oh man, that was really tight. Alright, so let's remove these batteries. Very gentle. Oh man, look at this. How thin the wires are. Okay, so this is the plus or minus for powering on the system. So this is a really cheap piece of plastic in combination with hardware. Look at this, like this big PCB is of course the control input. And the other side, this thing has been made in 2005. And they, I think they soldered this board on. This is basically what contains the, let's say the computer itself, like the EBIT system. It's quite tiny. But an overall, like this, the only thing we can see, like it says here, WT051 CPU, date is 2005. That's it, there is no information. The black blob seals off all information, what kind of chip they are using. But yeah, folks, that is the only thing that we're going to get, and it is really flimsy, so be very gentle putting it back together, because if I break a wire, I really need to get myself the soldering iron. So yeah, that's it, folks, it was just a quick, a really quick tear down. Because, yeah, with these devices, there is not a lot to see. Okay, guys, so this is what you're going to get with the Tech Planet. The Tech Planet, I just wanted to check it out for you guys. Here, what are we going to get? Here on the channel, we'll review a lot of these plug-and-play devices sometimes. If we can find some that are interesting enough. 59 games in one. 8-bit homebrew games, even with some rip offs like the games you have seen in this video. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become on the Wicked family, and I will see you in the next video. It's going to be like an excellent thumbnail. Yeah, plug and play action, Wicked style.